All right, lads, welcome back to another Stogie Lads Cuban Cigar Review. Today we are reviewing a cigar out of my pretty much favorite Cuban cigar brand, H. Upman. This is the H. Upman Magnum 50. So this is a uh, 2008 release originally uh, to the regular production portfolio of H. Upman. It's one of the larger cigars uh, available out of Cuba on the regular production side. It's a 50 ring gauge, uh, hence Magnum 50 by 160 millimeters, which makes it about six inches and one fourth, uh, six and one fourth inches, I guess is the right way to say it. So it's a uh, quite a hefty cigar. It's one that I don't see around, I guess, too often. Uh, the Magnum 46 and 54 in the same sort of Magnum family are a little bit more famous. The 46 is a favorite of mine. I love the Vitola and I love the flavor profile, obviously. The 54 is shorter and thicker. It's like a short, uh, fat Robusto. And then this is really as close you can get to like a classic Toro of the US market in the Cuban uh, cigar market. It's 50 ring gauge uh, by six inches. Uh, so I don't really know too much about the cigar. I haven't, I mean, I have had it before, uh, but it's been quite a long time since I had one of these. So I don't remember too much of it. Uh, I, I mean, I assume it's gonna fit a lot of the uh, Upman flavor profile that I know and love. Uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and get this lit up now and I'll get back to you guys in the first third with my uh, initial flavor uh, thoughts. All right, a bit into the first third. Burning like an absolute dream. I mean, like picture perfect burn. Um, very interesting so far. It's actually been pretty complex just within this first, um, you know, first half of the first third, really. Very, very sweet in the beginning. I put up an Instagram story right as I like lit it up with my initial thoughts. Really sweet, like sugar cookie, I mean, really just lovely and sweet. A little bit of that cereal note, bready sweetness, really delicious. That shifted quite quickly. I think a little bit of a cedar note has entered and a tiny bit of white pepper actually. And the sweetness is subdued quite a bit. Uh, it's still there a bit, but it's not, it's a little bit darker now as you usually get in the cigars. I mean, the, the beginning was literally like, um, like sugar cookies, like that light sweetness, um, which is kind of rare for cigars. You, you get that in artificially sweetened cigars sometimes that like actual sweetness, but um, very, very good. Uh, light to medium so far uh, that white pepper is like still staying in the back of the throat it's quite present uh, not like very intense but just like very noticeable i think that's giving the illusion that it's a bit heavier of a cigar than it is just because of the the spice countering the the lighter notes but uh very very good so far still this is quite a long cigar so it might uh, take quite a while to smoke i think i'll get back somewhere around you know somewhere around the middle uh, with some more thoughts but definitely three three part update for this one as it's quite a big stake and we'll see what the smoking time is like. Uh, but I'll catch you guys uh, when, I've, when I've gone a little bit further on this one. All right, lads. Uh, I'd say I'm about 40%, 45, maybe almost halfway through uh, at about a Robusto length now. Uh, it's been a very, very good cigar. Uh, it's been very, very nice, very complex. I can tell that it's quite young still because the the flavors are a little bit uh subdued like a little bit uh, lighter than they could be i think with a few years but still it's absolutely marvelous that light sweetness like i started to say in the first uh, third update has gone away even more now uh, where it's almost like a dark honey uh, it's not quite as light as honey it's like a honey like sweetness and in a, in a sort of darker sense there were like sprinkles of floral notes uh, earlier on completely gone as well now the cigar's actually sort of shifted to a much darker level. It's pretty much medium bodied now, I'd say. It's very, very, very nice. Touches of leather at this point, very creamy now. Touches of like cafe latte, just the tiniest hint of coffee, but a lot of it is that, that creamy, milky, nice uh, nice flavor. It's very, very good. This, the, the finish is long, the finish is rich and sweet. It's just a very nice cigar. And uh, I, I'd say the undertone, like the main tone that's been here the whole time, it's that bready cereal note. It started as sugar cookies and it morphed, I think along with the sweetness to a darker. Now it's more just like, even like Levant, like a, like a baguette bread style. Uh, it's kind of weird to say with cigars, but Upman has a lot of that cereal. Uh, and when I say cereal, it's not breakfast cereal. It's like the grains, you know, like it's, it, it tastes a lot like bread, uh, which is good. It's very, very good, I think. Still burning absolutely marvelously. Mm, delicious, delicious, delicious. I'm gonna give the final thoughts when I get ba uh, back at the sort of end of the uh, last third and uh, give it a score and everything, but so far, very, very delicious. All right, lads, I am here in the final third. 
very um, interesting cigar. The first two thirds, like I talked about, were marvelous. Uh, very lovely notes. Uh, although I did mention, you know, it's, it's, it is a little bit youthful, this cigar. So the notes were a little bit shrouded, um, not protruding immensely, but the notes that were there were pretty complex and they were delicious. Uh, this final third has shifted very quickly, um, which might be a sign of complexity, and I guess it is, uh, but it's unfortunately shifted into mediocrity. Um, <clears throat> this last third has been quite dark, not not more than medium bodied still, uh, just oak, or I guess like a darker wood, not necessarily oak, um, and leather, uh, and still a bit of spice, but it's just been that, leather, and oak and just like, you know, Cuban tobacco. Unfortunately, that the last third has been quite take it or leave it. Like I could have put the cigar down even a bit ago. Uh, it's been about an hour and 15 minutes, which is nice. So this is certainly, you know, like an hour and a half if you want to smoke it down, uh, pace yourself, which is right for the size, uh, which is nice. Uh, but like I said, just not a great final third. The first two were so good uh, that this final third has been um, a bit of a disappointment. I think that also goes hand in hand with the aging. I think the final third will bloom <clears throat> and uh, take on a nicer character with some more age. I think that's why it's you know a little bit harsh. There's a bit of bitterness as well. It's just um, it's just not perfect. Uh, so to score this cigar, I'm going to go with an 88. At the end of the day, the first two thirds, if the cigar would have ended there, it would have certainly been 90 or above in that excellent territory. I think just what brings it down is first of all the 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 lack of protrusion from the notes they're not that clean and then just this last third has just been very uncharacteristically upman and not not very h upman either so just like darker and uh spicier and uh leathery and you know not really and i'm not even that far down you know these are these are the notes i'm getting now are a lot of the times what you get like when you're very far down you know it's smoking hot and it's just a little bit dark and you know not very complex and that's what I'm getting in the last third. So that's why I'll, I'll settle to an 88. I'd still very much recommend this cigar and I've heard and know that with with age, these are beautiful. I mean, it's, it's definitely worth it just for the first two thirds. And I mean, it's a very long, nice smoke. It's a nice, bigger cigar if you like the Toro size, uh, which are not that uh, normal for Cubans. There's not a lot of like Cuban Toro size cigars. Uh, so that's, at the end of the day, I'm gonna smoke a little bit more. I'm not gonna go that far down because it's just not really uh, amazing at this point, but uh, that's it for the Magnum uh, 50 by H. Upman. Hope you guys enjoy this re review as always, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Cheers.